Another tactic you can use to make your forms easier to fill out is think about floating fields left to right. Now, web form makes it very easy to float elements around in the form. So what we'll do to our form is we'll delete this name element because it's no longer required and we'll add in two new elements, first name and last name, and then we'll float each element next to each other. So click on build and let's delete this name element and then click on add element and then click on the text field add element button and we'll call this first name and then make it required and then click on add element again and we'll create another text field and we'll call this one last name. So let's just reorder these so they are right at the top. And then if we view the form, you can see first name and last name, simple. Now let's float these fields next to each other. So go back to build, but this time click on add layout and we'll enter full name as the key and then click on save. Let's just move this to the top simply indent the fields that you want part of that layout and then click on save elements. And then if we view the form, you can see that now both elements are floated next to each other. Now, if you want to change the width of each element, you can do that by editing the element and then changing the flex value. So let's change first name to two, for example. And then let's edit last name and we'll change it to 10. So let's go back to view. And now our first name will be very small, but the last name will be very wide. So you have a lot of control over the widths between the elements. So let's go back to our form and just set it to one. And we'll set this one to one as well. Now, one thing I want to mention is that when you click on add layout here, it's simply opening up the Flexbox layout element, but you can also access the Flexbox layout element by clicking on add elements and then searching for Flexbox, which is the exact same thing. So if you were to click on add element here, or if you were to add in the Flexbox layout element manually through add element, it is the same thing. So that is how you can control the layout of your elements. And as you can see, it's pretty easy to flow elements left to right.